Hi everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Shannon and this is Glam by Shan. Today I am decluttering. We're getting rid of a lot of stuff. We're gonna be moving here in the next month and a half. So we need to get rid of stuff that I'm not using. We need to be ruthless. I thought I would start with my lip products. I think the easiest way for me to do this is gonna be doing lip liners, lip crayons, things like that first. So let's spread them out. All right, I'm gonna pull out all the lip crayons first. Starting off, this is a sharpener for larger lip crayons. It came with my nude sticks lip crayon, so I'm going to keep this tool. Okay, let's start off with these Maybelline Superstay Ink crayons. I have six. Yeah, I have six of them. I don't find myself reaching for these very often. I think I would keep something that's a little bit more bold just to hang on to, but these nudes, I'm not reaching for them. I think that they could have a better home somewhere else where they are well loved. Like this dark one, I don't typically wear very dark lips unless it's for a specific reason. I think I'm going to keep this bright pink one in the shade Treat Yourself. I'm going to keep that one and then get rid of these five. Next I have the Elf and Jen Atkin Lip Duo. This is in the shade Ready to Go. It's a lip crayon on one side and then a lip liner on the other. I honestly don't think I've ever used this, so this can definitely go to a very good home. And for sanitary purposes, I'm just going to separate everything I'm giving away that is unused and used so that I can sanitize the used ones. Next, we have the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Intriguing. I really like this one. I think this was a TJ Maxx find, so I'm going to hang on to this one. Then I have the Nude Sticks Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in the shade Stiletto. I can't tell you how many years ago I got this. It's probably quite embarrassing. So I'm going to get rid of it simply because of age. It is super duper creamy and very, very matte. Um, but I'm not reaching for it and it is very old, so I'm going to chuck this one. Next, we have the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Aquarius. Again, this is embarrassingly old. I've held on to it for far too long and uh, smells a little funny. So uh, getting rid of that one. Lastly, we have the Morphe Lip Crayon in the shade IRL. This one is very hard to open. Okay, on principle, I can't open it, so I'm getting rid of it. Okay, we've got all of my lip pencils. I'm going to take out the ones that I know I definitely want to declutter. They're either A, too old, or B, I don't use them. So I'm going to do that first. Okay, so the five that I took out, I know I'm going to declutter. I'm not going to swatch all of them. We would just be here for far too long. So first is the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner. This is just a clear one. I was super into using a clear lip liner to help with edges and feathering about three, four years ago. So this is quite old. Going to get rid of that. Also have the Morphe and Ashley Strong Lip Liner in Tourmaline Soul. I don't think I've ever used this. And uh, the color is very odd. So going to get rid of that. This little nubbin of a guy is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Aquarius. Again, very, very old, very well loved, but uh, it would be so embarrassing if I held on to that just because of age. It is super duper stinking old. So that's going by. This is the L'Oreal Colorish Matte Lip Liner in Matster Mind. Also quite old, probably about four or five years old. So I should not be putting this on my lips anymore. And the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF. This is the original BFF. Um, mine does not stay in the packaging very well. Um, I find that to be the case with most ColourPop lip pencils, so I might end up getting rid of all the ones that I have. Not my favorite formula anymore. Was very, very into it quite a few years ago, but we'll be getting rid of this one. On that note of ColourPop lip liners, let's just take out BFF2 and BFF3. Um, again, not my favorite formula anymore. Uh, this one doesn't even look, look used, excuse me. So that's going to get to a better home. This one will probably just be uh, sanitized, maybe sharpened, and sent off to a better home. 
Okay, let's go through some wooden pencils I know I'm going to keep. As of right now, sharpenable wooden pencils are my favorite. I do have some that are sharpenable yet kind of with the plastic packaging and creamy. I do like both of them pretty equally right now. And that's what most of mine are. These are all of my wooden lip pencils. I'm definitely keeping NYX in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I haven't opened this one yet because I'm trying to finish my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner. And I know that this one is seemingly a dupe based on other videos that I have watched. So finishing that first, then gonna open this one. So definitely keeping. I'm also going to keep both of my Milani Color Statement lip liner pencils. I have the shades All Natural and Nude. Keeping both of these, we'll finish these until they're little nubbins. Also keeping my Bite Beauty lip pencil in shade 64. I know they don't make these anymore, but this is just such a pretty pink and works with every pink that I have. I'm also going to be keeping my LA Girl lip liners. I'm not sure if I'll keep one particular shade. I'm going to swatch it, but I'm going to keep the shades Sugar and Spice and Blushing. I'm going to keep those two. And then as far as flesh and bear goes, this is flesh and this is bear. I'm going to get rid of bear and I'm going to keep flesh for now. We'll see if I make any other choices later. This is the Laura Mercier lip liner in the shade Rosewood, another TJ Maxx find. I was very proud of myself for finding this one. Um, I like this one a lot. Again, a wooden pencil, really enjoying this formula. Then I have the NYX Suede lip liner in the shade Copenhagen. I don't have a lot of lip liners in this wine kind of berry family. I have another one. Let me see if I can find it amongst... Ah, here we go. Suede lip liner in Soft Spoken. Not super similar. Not similar at all, Shannon. Not even a little bit. Uh, I'm going to keep both of these. I really like this formula and also good to have a nice wine color shade if I do have a lip like that. Next I have two of the L'Oreal Age Perfect anti-feathering lip liners. I have the shades Nude Pink and Bright Mocha. I like both of these as well. I don't know if I'll keep Bright Mocha but Nude Pink is one of my favorites so I'll keep this one. Let's ponder on that one for a moment. I have three Jaclyn Cosmetics lip liners. I have Chai Tea, Macaron and Caramel Latte. Really like this formula a lot. Actually, I have two more Jacqueline lip liners. These are from the Holiday Collection from last year. Shades Bow and Unwrap Me. Gonna keep both of these, so five Jacqueline lip liners. I do have three more ColourPop lip liners from the Hocus Pocus Collection. I'm gonna be keeping these. Um, Hocus Pocus is one of my favorite Halloween movies and pretty up there in a favorite Disney movie. So I'm going to be keeping the three of these in the shades Come We Fly, Spinster Ladies, and Lucky Rat Tail. I'm going to be keeping these. Again, like I mentioned earlier, trying to finish up my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner. It is a little nubbin, super similar to Nude Pink. I was working on finding a dupe in my collection of the Charlotte Tilbury also of the Aquarius lip liner. I was working on that, but uh, I seemingly have a lot of the same. But I'm going to try to use this up and make it a full empty. I have two of the e.l.f. shaping lip liners in soft pink and light brown. I don't know if I'm going to keep light brown. I don't particularly like the shade of it. Um, I thought I was going to, but ended up not. Soft pink is quite beautiful. Again, I am a nude pink kind of lady, so I'm gonna keep that one, get rid of light brown. Next, I have the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in the shade Gingerbread. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Again, not a tone that I wear very often on my lips, um, so I'm not sure who I thought I was when buying it, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Next is the Juvie's Place lip liner in the shade Sweet Nothing. This is their Lux liner. Again, who, I, I must have went through a brown lip phase. I don't know who I think I am now. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Next, Olimar Cosmetics Birthday Suit Lip Liner. Really love this one. It is a very light nude, and I do not have a lot like this. 
So I am going to keep this one. I am going to try to use this one up. Lastly, my favorite lip liner at the moment is the Makeup by Mario Ultra Suede Sculpting Lip Liner in the shade Johnny. One of my faves right now with nice mauve nude pink. Keeping that one. Also love that there is a little brush on the other side. Really like utilizing that. So keeping that. I'm going to get rid of Bright Mocha from L'Oreal. Going to get rid of that one. So this. This is the rest of my lip products. I'm only one person. I have one face. This needs to be pared down aggressively. So I'm just going to pull from anywhere and see where this takes us. I'm going to start with these two little guys sitting here. This is the e.l.f. Bite Size Lip Balm in the shade Berry. Uh, I had this in my purse. Don't use it nearly enough to justify keeping it, so I'm gonna get rid of that. This is the Fenty Beauty Little Gloss Balm in the shade Pink Dragon Fruit. I work part-time at Ulta Beauty. Got this as a little gift from the brand, so I will be keeping this. Let's go somewhere. I know we're gonna get rid of something. And where will that be, Shannon? I don't know. Okay. Let's start with these two bullet lipsticks. This is the ColourPop and Sophia Nygaard collab in Bury Me in Lipsticks. This is, God, 2017, I think, and the packaging is a little messed up. Very pretty shade. I did use it. It doesn't look like I touched it very much, but I did indeed use it, um, and it's very old. I would not feel comfortable passing this on to somebody else, so this will be trashed. I also have the ColourPop matte lipstick in maxed out a really beautiful bright poppy pink um since i did keep that lip crayon and it is newer to me i'm gonna get rid of this one again four or five years old so comfortable getting rid of this one let's see again another color pop lip you can't get anymore um the cruella lipstick from the villains collection gorgeous packaging Smells a little play doh -y. I think I'm comfortable getting rid of this. It is so stinking beautiful, but man. I can't keep things because they're pretty. Like, this packaging is to die for. I love Disney. Love Cruella de Vil, but... It's gotta go. Okay. Two. You know what? Three. Three I know I'm going to be keeping is the MAC... Luster Lipstick and Patisserie, one of my absolute favorites. I used this on a cousin's wedding day. She looked gorgeous. Also going to keep the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Anita. I wore this on my wedding day, so I will be keeping this. And the Milk Makeup Lipstick in the shade C-R-E-A-M, or Cream. Gonna be keeping that. These are three of my favorite pinky nude lipsticks. Absolutely love these. These will not be leaving my lipstick collection. Okay, two L'Oreal lipsticks that I think I'm okay with getting rid of is the another Age Perfect in the shade Glowing Nude, and then just from their regular lipstick line in the shade Fairest Nude. Um, I don't know who I thought I was getting this light of a lipstick. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. And then this one. I'm okay with getting rid of this one. Again, a brown. Who did I think I was? Not entirely sure. I think I'm gonna wait on Fairest Nude. I might keep that one, but Glowing Nude, I will be getting rid of. Two lipsticks that are very unique to my collection are from Ronnie or Rainy Cosmetics. I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it. Um, it is Total Makeup Junkie here on YouTube. It is her lipstick line, her cosmetic brand, excuse me. This is in the shade Tattoo. Um, they are almost like metallic lipsticks, so they are very unique. They are a smidge gritty, but I think I just needed to warm them up a little bit, but they are so pretty. Uh, I might have to get rid of this one. It looks a little funky. I've had this one for a while. I think I have to get rid of this one in the shade Lassie. Let's see what tattoo looks like. This one looks okay. Oh gosh. Honestly, I haven't worn them. They are very unique to my collection, but I think I'm going to get rid of them. This is fantastic though. I very much enjoyed supporting a small business wearing these while I could. I'm going to get rid of these too. Marc Jacobs lipsticks. This is in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. 
super duper pretty. This is an O'Malley. I have a hard time getting rid of these because it's not that they were expensive. I bought them on a deep, deep discount, but um, I don't know. They're just so nice and hefty and weighted and beautiful to look at. We're going to put these in maybe. Okay, I have two NYX lipsticks. I have Cactus Dreams and Opinionated. Uh, I don't think I've touched this. So I'm not going to touch it. And I haven't touched this one. So these are going to go to a new home. I have two of the L'Oreal... Nope, these are Revlon. Two Revlon uh, the Super Lustrous Shine lipsticks. I have Nude Illuminator and Glossed Up Rose. Very much enjoy these. Formula is beautiful. Super duper glossy. Very, very pretty. Gonna be keeping those. Then I have my little baby Pillow Talk lipstick by Charlotte Tilbury. Really enjoy this one. Very, very pretty. Will continue to use it to keep it. I have two Juvia's Place lipsticks. I have the shade Mauve Moment and then another one called Hashtag 2020. That is 2020. That's a swipe and a half. That is so bigoted. Then a Mauve Moment. I'm going to keep both of those. Very much like them. Get a lot of use out of these ones. Very, very pretty. The Hocus Pocus lipsticks from ColourPop. Going to be keeping these. Let's just double check. They had, um, in shipping, two of them got a little bit messed up, but that's okay. Gonna be keeping these. And then I know I can get rid of Maybelline Spice for me. Again, not really sure who I thought I was. Gonna get rid of that. Two Becca lipsticks. I know you can't get these anymore, but they are so beautiful. Really enjoy the formula of these. I have the shades Flame and Dusk really like these a lot see that's a brown i can get behind it doesn't look too crazy not gonna look bizarre on me next i have the Too faced lady bold lipstick in the shade i'm thriving i really like this one a brownie pinky nude very very pretty for an everyday kind of soft glam like that one a lot keeping okay i have three of the elf lip stains um, they are newer to me. I have the shades Pinkies Up, Fiery Red, and Basic Beige. I must watch Basic Beige and Pinkies Up. I'm gonna do a tiny little baby one up here. That's Pinkies Up. That looks beige to me. I don't understand. This is Basic Beige. Look. To me, that looks pink. Not really sure. I'm gonna get rid of basic beige. And I'm gonna get rid of pinky up. I'm gonna get rid of both of them. I'm gonna keep fiery red. I really like the look of this for especially summertime and that's what we're going into. So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, moving on to my true liquid lipsticks. I have pared down this collection at least a couple of times since I started loving makeup. So I am not a huge liquid lipstick person any longer. However, I do like to keep a select few shades, so that's what we're going to try to achieve now. So I have the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade Hazelnut Hypnotizer. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. It's not my favorite formula. It does last a very long time, but personally, it is not my favorite, so I will be getting rid of this one. I have three liquid lipsticks from Ofra. I have the shade Story, the collab with Samantha March. Havana Nights collab with Kathleen Lights and Nina. I think I'm going to keep these. Um, when I reach for a liquid lipstick, I very much enjoy these particular shades. I'm going to give them the smell test to make sure they still smell okay. This particular brand smells like vanilla, so as long as it smells like vanilla, it's here to stay. I don't know if that one even has a scent anymore. That's concerning. Or I just can't smell it. This one has a scent, this one's okay. And I really love this shade a lot. I'm gonna keep Havana Nights and maybe get rid of Nina. Let's get rid of Nina. Three of the NYX Lingerie XXL lipsticks. I'm going to be keeping these. I really very much enjoy this formula. I have the shades Flaunt It, 
Staying Juicy and On Fuego. I'm gonna be keeping these. I'm actually going to swatch On Fuego next to a Dose of Colors lipstick and see if they're similar. And that lipstick is the Katie and Desi collab in Hot Fire. Oh, those are different. To me, they are different, and this lipstick smells okay, so I will be keeping the Dose of Colors one. I did not purchase this when the collab first came out. I got it on a deep, deep discount, so I'm gonna be keeping this and the free of these. Swatch next to it the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle in the shade Inspire. I just want to see if it's similar. I know that this particular liquid lipstick formula is supposed to be like a blurred look. And that's not something I go for as of late. So I think I'm going to end up keeping one of the shades in the shade Courage. Just because it is a nice nude. Oh, that is quite brown. Who did I think I was? All right, I'm gonna get rid of these three. Just not a formula I reach for. I very much enjoy Rare Beauty. I have not had a bad experience with Rare Beauty as of yet. Um, so I would recommend these if you like this sort of kind of blurred lip look and just want a little bit of color rather than a true liquid lipstick. So I'm gonna be getting rid of these. They will find a very nice home. Okay, another dose of colors in the shade Charm. This is a deep red, almost a burgundy red. I didn't even smell it. Still smells okay. I'm gonna keep this for now. I think I'm gonna go back and look at what I've kept and see if I can pare that down even more so. Again, another Ronnie Rainy Cosmetics liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Rose. Um, this is not a shade I would pick for myself. I got it as a free gift, I believe. And it's just not something I see myself wearing. Um, I've never worn it on my lips. I've only swatched it, so I will be sending this away to a friend. Uh, two Sephora cream lip stains. I have the shades 85 and 1. Since I'm going to be keeping other shades of red, I think I'm okay with getting rid of the shade 1. As far as shade 85 goes, I think I can get rid of it. If I'm reaching for a pink this color, it's not going to be a liquid lipstick. It's going to be a gloss. It's going to be a bullet lipstick. It's going to be some sort of other formula that I prefer better. So I'm going to get rid of these two. We have two Jaclyn liquid lipsticks. Oop, just kidding. Three Jaclyn liquid lipsticks, excuse me. Um, again, Unwrap Me and Bow from the Holiday Collection. I'm going to be keeping both of these. Um, I love a red lip in Christmas time, so I will be keeping both of these. And then I have the shade Truth. Um, I think I purchased this one for a particular reason, but I don't remember what that reason was. And again, a liquid nude lipstick is not something that I reach for. The formula is nice. It's a little bit drying. Um... So I'm okay with getting rid of this one. I don't know if I'll pass it to a friend. I did use it a handful of times, um, at least 10 or 12. So I might just um, toss this one because it did touch my lips quite a few times. Okay, so we're getting into a lot that I do enjoy. I wear on a regular basis. Ooh, I forgot a Rare Beauty one in the shade Confident. Oh, this is the one that I meant, not... Not that other one. That's the one that I meant. I'm going to keep this one. This is the shade that I thought I was swatching when it turned out to be brown. Uh, so I'm going to keep this one. I have changed position. My legs kept falling asleep. And I have a beverage. Let's open that up. An afternoon coffee. Don't mind if I do. This is what we have left. I'm going to take out some more that I know I can give away. Ones that I know people will love. Start with these guys. These are the Elf Ride or Die Lip Balms and the Milani Fruit Fetish in, the, in Pumpkin Spice. That smell really good. This one is also in Pumpkin Spice PSL. It is completely sealed. So, 
I will be getting that away. Not sure about this Milani one. I think I'm gonna trash this one, get rid of these two to a better home. I did forget that I have all of these liquid lipsticks. These are the matte bombs from Makeup Revolution. I have four of them. I have Fancy Pink, Clueless Fuchsia, Nude Magnet, and Lore Red. I know for a fact that I have not worn these three and I have worn this one. So I think I'm going to toss this one and then give these three to a new home simply because I have not placed them on my lips. So I feel comfortable giving them away to somebody else. So I'm gonna get rid of these, toss in that. Uh, let's do these so that they start falling down. This is the Bite Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Gloss in Sugar Drizzle, uh, a TJ Maxx find. Very, very pretty. However, I don't love the applicator. So I might get rid of this one. Not sure yet. Let's put that in maybe. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is in Bee Sting. Gonna be keeping this one. It came out with their cute little teddy bear collection that they had. I believe it was last summer. And again, a deep, deep discount. So gonna be keeping this one. I really enjoy this formula. I know that a lot of people don't love the Too Faced Lip Injections, but I really like them. I like that little bit of zing that you get with a lip plumper. I really enjoy it, so I'm going to be keeping this one. Also, I'm absolutely keeping my Fenty Heat Glosses. I have the shade Lemon Lava, and I have the shade Fussy. Keeping both of these, again, I'm very much into lip plumpers at the moment, and I am a big gloss girl, so I'm going to be keeping both of these. Next, I have two Ink Velvets from Peri Para. I have the shades 19 and 27. I did get these, I got these off of Taylor Wynn's recommendation. She recommends this color specifically, but I wanted to try a pink. But again, it has that like a moussey kind of formula like the Rare Beauty ones do. So I'm not entirely sure if I wanna keep these. Um, again, if I'm reaching for a liquid lipstick, it's not gonna be this moussey kind of formula that I know might move around. So I might end up passing these along. I'm gonna put these in the maybe for now. They do stain pretty well. So if you're looking for a liquid lipstick that acts like a stain, you might like that one. Because holy cannoli, that one stained really, really bad. Wow. Let's keep it moving. So, I have two of the Big Papa glosses from Undone Beauty. I have the shades Touch of Mahogany and Barely Pink. I think I'm going to get rid of Barely Pink. Um, again, it is barely there, but it has a nice watermelon scent. That just smells really good. Um, and the shade Touch of Mahogany. This one is very different. It is quite an opaque gloss, so I really like that about it. Again, smells like watermelon. So I think I'm gonna keep Touch of Mahogany and get rid of Barely Pink. I'm absolutely getting rid of this Buxom Lip Balm. This is the Powerful Plump Lip Balm in the shade Dolly Fever. It smells like plastic um, and I cannot have that on my lips and have it beneath my nose. So getting rid of that. Continuing on, now with my very stained hand, I'm keeping my Milani matte lipsticks. These are in the shades Secret, Pleasure, and Peony. Keeping all three of these. Love the formula, love the shades. I reach for these all the stinking time, so keeping those. Now, this is the Milani Shine formula. I don't know the name of it. It's in the shade Lingerie. It is very pretty, similar to those Revlon shine lustrous lipsticks i like it a lot it's a little red for my liking so i think i'm gonna put it in the maybe pile just because i don't reach for it very often so it might get a better home elsewhere so let's put that in the maybe pile we're definitely keeping the ulta beauty juice infused lip oil this is in the limited edition packaging that was with pixar the monsters inc but it's just in the scent berry or shade Scent? Shade? Both? Both. Keeping that. Also going to be keeping the Tarte Jelly Glaze Anytime Lip Mask in the shade Strawberry Jelly. Like this a lot as well. 
I will be parting with. <laughs> this is so bizarre. The ColourPop Just a Tint um, Lip Crayon, I guess you could call it, um, in the shade Rose Way. It is a very pretty pink. However, I recently heard from, was it Emily's Makeup Bag? It was Emily from Emily's Makeup Bag. She said that this scent is supposed to be grapefruit. Just gave it a whiff. It smells like grapefruit vodka, so I'm not going to put that on my lips beneath my nose any longer now that I know that, so I'm going to be getting rid of this one. This is the Bad Habit Daily Fix Elderberry and Vitamin E Lip Oil. This is a nice lip oil. It smells interesting. It's almost like it's supposed to be a mixed berry scent mixed with children's toys. I don't know how to describe it, but this isn't bad. It feels nice on the lips. I would just prefer putting something else on my lips besides this, so I'm gonna get rid of this, and I don't think I'm gonna miss it. So, getting rid of that. Definitely keeping the Rem Beauty. These are the, oh my god, this is the tiniest sticker in the universe. This is the matte lipsticks. I have Bubbly and Drive-In Movie. I'm gonna be keeping these. This formula is so incredibly interesting and I can't wait to continue wearing it, so keeping these. We switched our Bevergino to water and a snack of pretzels and hummus. Don't mind if I do. Let's talk about these three e.l.f. lips that I have. This is the Sheer Slick Lipstick in Black Cherry. This is supposed to be a dupe for Clinique's Black Honey. I mean, I'd say yes, so. Keeping that, um, I've only worn it a couple of times, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then I have two of the Hydrating Core Shine Lip Shines from e.l.f. One is the collab with Tovlo in the shade Sweet Talk, and then one is in the shade Happy. I honestly don't know if there's a difference between the two of these. I've never tested it out, so let's find out together. That's the regular shade there. Then this is the Tovlo shade. Ooh, wow, that took a while to come up, huh? Um, I'm okay with getting rid of these. They are a nice formula, but I don't reach for them very often. So I'm okay with getting rid of them. Okay, another one I know that I'm keeping is the Benefit nude pink moisturizing lip balm this is a beautiful formula super comfortable on the lips really enjoy the shade um nobody talks about these and i don't understand why these are so nice i like these a lot so keeping that i have two sephora lipsticks i have the shade leo because your girl's a leo and i have the shade what is this 76 autumn blaze um, I think I'm gonna keep both of these. I really enjoy this formula a lot, and these are colors that I don't have in my collection. Then I have the Lancome Absolute Mademoiselle Balm. This is in the shade Ice Cold Pink. It is just a sparkly lip balm. It is very, very nice. Feels very luxurious. I keep this in my purse. Love to wear this a lot, so keeping that. Now we're getting into some of my favorites. Let's uh, keep the ball rolling. So I have two of the glowing lips from ColourPop. These are a new formula to me, and I think that they are quite comparable to the Makeup by Mario Moisture Surge Plumping Lips. So I'm keeping all three of these. I very much enjoy both of their formulas and the shades, so keeping these. I have Makeup by Mario in Rose Glow, La Cienga. I think that's right and uh let's jet so keeping the three of these okay another formula i know that i'm keeping is the l'oreal balm gloss and balm gloss i don't know what they're called but i'm keeping these these are the shades that i have if you're interested i love all of them so much so beautiful on the lips you can literally put these on without a mirror and still look absolutely flawless so keeping these four in the same realm also keeping these two from l'oreal this is similar to their stains but it is a glossy formula it is quite comparable to the lancome Labsolute lacquers 
very, very similar to those. So keeping these two shades that I have here, super duper pretty, love them. Let's get rid of some that I know that I can. I have two ColourPop and two Kylie glosses here. The Kylie glosses that I have are in the shades Snatched and Damn Gina. I'm gonna keep Damn Gina. I'm gonna get rid of Snatched. And I have two ColourPop Luxe glosses. I have the shades Drama Queen and the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collab in Glacier. I'm actually gonna swatch Glacier next to um, Pearl by Maybelline and see if we're working with anything similar here. I really just wanna keep one of these. That's my goal here. Oh gosh, this is so hard. Yeah, just not a gloss that I would reach for and I haven't reached for it, so. Gonna get rid of this one, gonna get rid of the Maybelline. Holy, holy moly, I surprised myself keeping this one. So while we're on the topic of just being absolutely blown away, <laughs> let's talk about my lifter glosses. Uh, I did have seven of them. Now I have six. This is one of my favorite gloss formulas. So beautiful and juicy on the lips. This is, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get rid of any of these. So I'm gonna keep them. Uh, I'll tell you what shades I have. I have sun, moon, oh, I have sun and moon. I have stone and heat, and I have brass and opal. So I'm gonna keep all of these. I love this formula to death. It is one of the best, if not the best gloss formula out there right now. It is really, really good. This is the NYX, this is Milky Gloss. I have the shade Cherry Skimmed. This is super duper pretty, a very nice pinky mauve kind of gloss. I love what it does for my lips, so I'm gonna be keeping that one. I also have the Thrive Cosmetics. I think it's their lip gloss. This is in the shade Glinda. It's like a rose gold. It is pretty. Um, I think this is something my mom could really get a lot of use out of. Um, she loves glosses like this and she loves Thrive Cosmetics so much, so I'm gonna give this one to my mom. Next, I have my Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. This is just their clear with like a tint of pink. Is it Rosy Outlook? Is that the shade? Um, I think so. This is one that I keep in my purse. I keep it on my person all the time. Really, really love this formula. If you like the look of a plumping gloss, but don't like the stinging and the burning and the tingling, this is the one for you. So really fantastic. If you like a plumping gloss that burns, <laughs> this is the NYX Filler Instinct Plumping Gloss. This is just the clear one. I put this on when I do my makeup and I wipe it off before I put my lip product on. So gonna keep this one. Love this for makeup prep. Since I got rid of that Maybelline Lifter Gloss, I'm gonna keep this one from Ofra. This is in the shade Millie. This is the collab with Samantha March. Love supporting her so much. She is one of my absolute favorite YouTubers here on this platform. She is just seemingly a wonderful human being. Gonna be keeping this one. Next I have the Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip. This is in the shade Juicy Date. Very, very pretty. Again, a beautiful everyday kind of lip color. Super duper nice on the lips. Looks and feels like a lip gloss, wears like a liquid lipstick. Alomar Cosmetics Birthday Suit Lip Gloss. I love this one. It is a super sticky formula, but man, does it make your lips look so juicy and plump. Really love this one. Gotta wear this one more. It is so pretty. Keeping this one. Next is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm in the shade Ingenuity. I got this, I think it was a 21 Days of Beauty uh, at Ulta Beauty. Super pretty, very pretty, has a little bit of a reflect to it. Again, gloss and balm. Love how comfy they are. Love that you can put it on without a mirror. Super pretty, keeping that. As you can see, we're not doing very well in the lip gloss category, but that was to be expected. I knew that was gonna happen. We started off ruthless and here we are now. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Lip Balm Gloss. This is in Christmas Cocoa. It does smell like chocolate. However, it is not a shade that I find myself wearing very often. So I'm gonna pass this one along. Don't even think I've worn it on my lips. I think I've just swatched it. So getting rid of this one. Oh, we made it to the end. We're getting there, we're getting there. This is what we have left. This is what we're working with. And I'll tell you right now, this is gonna be hard. Let's just start it off with something we're gonna get rid of. This is the Sephora Lip Clicks, Melting Lip Clicks Gloss. 
and this is in the shade caramel and this is gorgeous however this is so old i think that it dried up the color looks off so uh, i'm not even gonna swatch it and it's going right in the trash so two that i know that i'm keeping a cosmetics pillow lips solid serum i have the shade marvelous it's a beautiful pink so pretty for spring and summer and i'm also keeping the new tarte maracuja juicy lip plump i have the shade poppy again a beautiful red for spring and summertime next is the tarte ch2o balm i have the shade hang 10. i like this a lot this is a very pretty just easy lip color i think i'm gonna hang on to this one it has a minty kind of feel to it but not plumping at all but I'm gonna keep this one, get some more use out of it. My beloved Buxom Plumping Lip Glosses. These are so pretty, I love them so much. I think I have both, um, yeah, I have both formulations. These are the Plumping Lip Creams. This is the Plumping Lip Polish. I have Pippa Pumpkin. I have Spiked Apple Cider and Pumpkin Spice Latte. We're gonna give these the sniff test. Keeping these three. Love them, love the formula. So pretty. Can't say enough about these. Keeping. Another part of the Jaclyn Holiday Collection. These are her lip glosses. I have all three of them. They were in a little set. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping all three of them. And I know for a fact I can get rid of Ginger. I think I'll hang on to Gumdrop and Cookies. So keeping these two, getting rid of that one. I think this can go to a better home. I think I tried it on my lips once. Comfortable giving it to a family member at that rate. So uh, look out cousins, might be coming your way. All right, I have three Pat McGrath lip glosses. These are the mini Opulust glosses. I have the shades Dreamscape. This is Lavendering and this one is Naked Rose. I'm going to be keeping these. I love what they do on the lips. They look so pretty. I like to wear Lavendering when I do a purple monochromatic look. And then the other two I love using on their own or with a lip liner or a bullet lipstick. So I'm gonna be keeping these. They are very, are very unique in my collection of lip products. So gonna be keeping these. Okay, I have two Dose of Colors lip glosses. I have the shades Made You Blush and Messy Bun. Again, these are very opaque lip glosses, but they're some of the comfiest ones that I have when it comes to ones that are completely opaque. So pretty. I love these two so much. I'm keeping these. Okay, I have two Tower 28 glosses. These came in a set. Um, this clear one is Chill, and this brown one is Chestnut. Chestnut does have a little bit of a shimmer to it. Uh, I don't think that's going to look very nice on me, so I'm going to get rid of that. Oh my gosh, you guys are getting to the end. This is the last three, the Michaela X Glamorite lip glosses. I have, these don't have shades. These don't have shade names. What? I'm going to swatch the nude one, um, just because I don't have anything like this. However, this is a very peachy toned nude and that's not something that I wear on my lips pretty much ever. So I'm comfortable getting rid of that one. Oh gosh, I think I'm gonna keep the gold one. Love these, they're not gritty at all. I'm gonna keep these. I love me a shimmer gloss that does not feel gritty. So I'm gonna keep these two. I'm okay with having duplicate, um, like similar-ish colors. So I'm gonna keep these two. Whew. I think we did it. I think we did it. That's going to be it for my lip declutter today. Um, I need to clean all this up, see what I'm getting rid of, see what's being tossed out and what's being passed on. And uh, if editing me could put how many I'm keeping and passing on, I think I'm just going to end up getting rid of my entire maybe pile because I haven't reached for those at all. So I'm gonna get rid of those. And yeah, let's put the totals here. Editing Shannon, thank you very much for your contribution to today's video. 
If you liked anything about today's decluttering video, if you love declutters, if you love lipsticks, if you love lip glosses, if you like me or my hands or my stand stained hands, please give it a like down below. Also be sure to subscribe, hit that post notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, lip declutter. Yeah. Blooper reel. Oh, or on the floor again. Yeah. Oh, found it. So I have the three piles of keep, maybe, and get rid of on the couch. And uh, now it's just a game of is it gonna bounce back off the couch or stay there? We will find out together. <laughs> Are you still recording? Great. Alright, y'all. This is really hard. Since I got rid of that ne next. Next is the Alamar Cosmetic. Can't talk. Can't talk. Next is the. Nyx. <laughs> That's not Nyx. I might as well get rid of the clear one. I have. Why did I swatch that? Why did I swatch that? <laughs>